When you look at these photos, you'll notice smiling faces. You can see that people are happy. At that moment, they are not thinking about anything else. Free of thought and just happy. At least, that's the impression you get when you look at these photos. Well, you're not entirely wrong, but that's not the entire story. They are happy, despite the fact that they are suffering from an incurable disease and they don't have much time left. I am really proud to say that we here at Sparsh Hospice eased their suffering, cared for them and made it possible for them to live with dignity in their final phase of life. Welcome to Sparsh Hospice. We all wish death to be peaceful and surrounded by loved ones. But in some cases, death has become artificial, away from the family, surrounded by the gadgetry of modern critical care. And in many cases, it is even worse. There are people who can't afford treatment. There are people who go through a lot of suffering due to lack of proper care. There are people who are abandoned by their family and have to live their last moments without dignity. That's where Sparsh Hospice comes in. We provide palliative care for end-of-life cancer patients and also patients in the last stages of life. We take away their fear of being abandoned, fear of being a burden, fear of dying in pain. We have a structured and empathetic way of providing care we provide pain relief and palliation. We tend to their needs and nurse and manage their medical issues. We engage them in social activities and take away their focus from their medical condition. We talk and counsel them and their family members share their concerns and fears. And most importantly, we respect their need for privacy. We are a team of doctors, nurses, counsellors and social workers working towards relieving suffering in all areas of a patient's life. And we have run this non-profit organisation successfully through donations and contributions from a lot of good people and volunteers who dedicated their time. It's been a little more than four years since we accepted this as our duty. But it's very far from over.